Hi, I'm Vic Tesling. An important part of making any type of woodworking project is preparing a surface for finish. A lot of people will reach for a power sander or hand sanding to do this, but the truth is it's a lot quicker to do with a hand plane. The only difficulty with a hand plane is learning how to use one and set it up properly. And that's what we're going to look at today. As with any hand tool, you're going to want to make sure that the blade is properly prepared. In the case of a smoother, you're going to want a slight camber on the blade just to keep the corners of the blade out of the work. So now that you've got your blade prepared, you're going to insert it into the plane and just get it in there as straight as you can visually, making sure of course that it's uh, mounted onto the adjuster. And then you're going to put your lever cap on and again, make sure that it's nice and straight as well. You're only going to want to hand tighten that knob. Any tighter than that is going to make it difficult to adjust. Make sure that the mouth is open, wide open. And now you're going to advance the blade out of the body a great amount. Probably by about a sixteenth or uh, an eighth of an inch. The idea here is that you want to be able to visually see the blade sticking out. And you can make a little bit of an adjustment here by seeing which side of the blade is sticking out further than the other. In this case, the left hand side is sticking out further, so you're going to want to move this adjuster to the left. Whatever side is highest, that's the side you move the adjuster to. Now I prefer to use a, a small plane adjusting hammer um, simply because it's easier to control the adjustment. So I'm just going to wrap on the side of the adjuster here a little bit. And that's looking pretty good. All right, now we have it adjusted coarsely. Now what we're going to do is we're going to back the blade off completely so it's not cutting. And we're going to move over to our piece of wood and we're going to evaluate how it's cutting. This is also going to allow you to set the projection properly. So with the blade not cutting, we're going to start moving the plane back and forth on the wood. With your other hand, you're going to start to adjust the blade forward until it starts to cut. And you're going to observe where that shaving comes out of the mouth. So in this case here you can see that the shaving is coming on the left hand side of the mouth which means that this side is still protruding a little bit too much. So I'm going to take my plane adjusting hammer and I'm going to just move the knob a little bit more to that side because that's the side that's high. I'm going to clear out the shavings and see how we do again here. So now we're taking a pretty good wide shaving and it's coming right out of the center. This is a little bit heavy of a shaving and sometimes that happens when you make the adjustment but we're going to back it off again now that we've got it set and go from there. At this point you can close the knob or pardon me you can close the mouth with the knob and begin to hand plane. Back the blade off a little bit and start moving until you get that shaving back again. So now we're taking probably less than a thousandth of an inch off and we can start planing this board. To plane this board we're simply going to start on the left hand side and move our way across to the right doing overlapping strokes so that we don't get any ridges in the board. So at this point this has cleaned up all of the machining marks and this piece is already ready for finish. Another couple of tips that I find helpful when using a smoothing plane is to always have a little bit of paraffin wax either on your bench or in your apron. I apply the wax to the sole of the plane so that it provides a little bit of lubrication. Now this isn't going to mess up any of your finishing options or anything like that. All it's going to do is allow the plane to glide across the wood a little easier. Another great tip is you always get a little bit of streaking on the wood from using a hand plane regardless of how well you sharpen it. And the easiest way to take care of that is to just use the shavings that you generated from the hand planing, ball them up and burnish the surface of the wood with them. This will remove the shavings, they have just enough tooth to polish the wood and you're going to get an even glossier surface than just off the plane alone. As with any other woodworking tool, Setting them up is simply knowing the steps to take to do it. Now that you've seen how it's done, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to set up your own smoother 
and take beautiful shavings with it.